Welcome to Filmora Pro, a new way to power up your storytelling. We've taken everything we've developed in Filmora and pushed it to the next level, allowing you to have more precise control over your content with professional video editing tools. In this first tutorial, we'll be covering Filmora Pro's key features, including the new layout, new editing tools, effects, keyframes, and exporting. If you want to skip ahead to a certain part, we've placed timestamps down in the description. So let's get started. To start your new project, click the Create New Project button. The first thing you'll notice is the new modular layout. Filmora Pro is organized into an arrangement of panels. These panels can be moved into different areas of your workspace and can also appear as tabs, allowing you to customize the panels to fit any editing style. The first thing you'll look at when starting a new project is the media panel. This is where all your footage, photos, audio, and titles can be found. To import a file, you can either import your content by clicking the Import button or by simply dragging your footage in. Let's begin by clicking Import Media and find some files to bring into our project. You can organize your footage by creating folders. In this example, let's make an audio folder and a footage folder. When you have a piece of media selected, you'll see a preview in the trimmer panel. You can play this video by hitting the space bar and adjust the preview scale and resolution with these buttons here. Let's say you want a specific part of the clip. To set your in and out point, you can click these buttons down here, or you can hit the I and O keys respectively. These are some of the many shortcuts you can use to speed up your workflow, and there's a full list of them in the preference panel. You can even customize them if you want. Once you have a portion of your clip selected, you can hit the overlay clip icon, or if you really want to speed up your workflow, you can simply hit the N key. Filmora Pro features a brand new timeline in the editor panel that includes an unlimited amount of audio and video tracks. Simply drag your video or audio outside the current tracks to create a new one. You can mute specific tracks by toggling the eye and speaker icons on the left. Whatever is on the top video track will appear on top of everything else. You can zoom in and out of your timeline by dragging the slider on the bottom left or by hitting Ctrl or Command plus or minus. You also have access to multiple tools including an undo and redo button, your selection tool, the slice tool for cutting your clips, the slip tool for adjusting the in and out points of your clip, and more. This magnet icon toggles snap to grid, and this gear allows you to adjust the properties of the edit such as resolution and frame rate. Your edit appears in the viewer panel where you can also perform quick functions like changing the position and rotation of your selected clip. Filmora Pro comes packed with new features including beautiful titles, powerful color grading, and an expansive library of effects. You can bring titles into your edit by dragging them over from the media panel into the timeline over your footage. You can then edit your titles by going over to the controls. Let's type Jake and Anna present Urban Moves. The Scopes tab gives you advanced color correction tools like Vectorscope, Waveform Monitor, Parade, and Histogram. The highlights in this clip seem to be muted. Let's say we want to fix this. One way we can fix this is by going into the Effects panel. Filmora Pro has a vast library of effects to choose from. One you can use is the Curves adjustment found in the Color Correction folder. To use this effect, drag it onto your clip. From there, you can go up to the controls and adjust your curves to bring up the highlights. If you want to apply this look to other clips, you can click the effect and copy, and then highlight the other clips and paste. Keyframes are an extremely powerful tool in Filmora Pro. They allow you to make changes to different effects and attributes over time. Here's an example. This clip over here begins with the camera pushing in on our dancers. By using keyframes with the scale value of the footage, you can create a really cool vertigo effect. The vertigo effect is a surreal looking effect that can be achieved by zooming in or out of a pull out or push in shot, making the background look like it's distorting behind the subject. To begin, let's go to this clip's controls and under transform look for scale. Let's find the point where the camera is fully pushed in on our dancers. Right about here. 
we'll hit the circle beside scale to set a keyframe, indicated by the small diamond here. Let's now move to the beginning of the clip and increase our scale to about 175%. This will automatically create a new keyframe. What this does is make it so that between these two keyframes, the scale goes from 175% to 100%. Combined with the footage, this gives us a really cool vertigo effect. Finally, let's polish this up by right-clicking the second keyframe and clicking Smooth In. This will smooth the motion in a way that will make the animation look a bit more natural. This is a very simple example, but you can apply keyframes over pretty much any value in any effect or attribute, which makes it extremely powerful. You can quickly export your project by hitting Export Contents, or you can set an in and out point in your edit and hit Export In Out Area. From there, you can either continue working or go to your export screen. A great feature from Filmora Pro is that you're able to queue up multiple exports. Let's say you have another project you're also working on. I've got a travel vlog right here. If you hit Export on that project, you'll be taken to the same render queue with your other queued exports still listed there. From there, you can head over to your render settings and then hit Start Exporting to begin the process. While rendering, you'll get a real-time preview of what's being exported. So that's a first look at Filmora Pro's key features. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more tutorials on how you can take your editing to the next level.